What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. There's a lot of lengthy guides out there on how to use weapons in the game, but what's the point of watching a half hour long video about a weapon you may not even like? Well, I'm going to skip the laborious details and get to the core points on how you can quickly pick up any weapon and fight any monster in the game fast. Today we're going to look at the Hammer, one of my favorite weapons in the Monster Hunter series. If you enjoyed this video and want to show your support, be sure to click the like button, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below, and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's get started. The Hammer is a weapon like no other in Monster Hunter games. It's extremely powerful, surprisingly mobile, and can frequently stun and knock monsters on their ass. And there's nothing quite like the feeling of spinning around like a whirlwind barbarian in a three-way turf war. So what are the strengths? Well, the hammer's blunt attacks to the head and legs can frequently cause monsters to stumble or fall, interrupting the monster's attacks, leaving them open to powerful combos by you or your teammates. The downside? Because the hammer is a blunt weapon, breaking faces is easy, but cutting parts like the tail is pretty much out. The hammer sadly also has a short reach. You'll often have to be within butt sex range to actually hit the damn thing. This makes positioning and timing your attacks extremely important. But the pros certainly outweigh the cons, and I dare say having a hammer in your party is one of the best weapons you could add to your high rank hunt. Let's talk a little bit about positioning. A hammer wielder should be focusing on two parts of the monster, the head and the legs. Focusing on these parts often yields the best results for stuns and knockdowns, which is basically the hammer's specialty. And depending on the monster, the area around the legs can also be one of the safest places to avoid the monster's attacks. In multiplayer, the blunt hammer is wasted on attacking the tail, so if you've got a hammer in your team, let him attack the head and use bladed weapons on other areas that can actually be cut. Before we go over the core moves, we need to talk about Power Charge. By pressing R2 and Circle, you'll perform a quick animation that puts your hammer in a powered up state. This is also the best way to take out your weapon and get ready to fight. However, if you sheathe your weapon, get knocked down, stunned or something like that, the Power Charge is lost and needs to be reapplied. More power is good though, so it should be top priority to get your Power Charge up if you can before attacking. By default, the power charge animation automatically performs a swing, but this can be cancelled by simply continuing to hold R2 after you press circle. This will lead into some great charge attack combos I'll talk about later. Now, let's get into the core moves. Pressing triangle three times will perform a quick combo with a powerful hammer uppercut. It's quick, it's easy, and can also be cancelled out, making it one of the best combos if you need to dodge at any given time, but also still want to keep up your DPS. Circle Combo aka Big Bang is performed by pressing the circle button five times. This combo is part of your biggest DPS combos, but has some disadvantages. Unlike the Triangle Combo, missing even just one of the swings in Big Bang cancels the combo, and has to be restarted. For this reason, it's best to save this for when the monster is immobile. Charge attacks are the highlight of hammers, not to be confused with the power charge that I mentioned earlier, but part of the same button sequence actually. The R2 plus circle adds power charge to your hammer and continuing to hold R2 readies you to perform a charge attack. These charge attacks come in three levels and can change if you're stationary or moving. Level 1 charge performs a hammer hook, Level 2 performs an uppercut, and the level 3 while standing still does a single big bang or brutal big bang while you have power charge. Moving with level 3 charge is the fun and dynamic whirlwind attack. By default the whirlwind swings several times and then eventually ends in this awkward wobbly stuff, but there is a better way. While whirlwinding you can press triangle to finish the whirlwind at any time with a powerful hit and depending on which whirlwind swing you're on when you press triangle, it will change the style of the finishing attack. For example, pressing triangle after the first couple of swings will perform a hammer hook like swing, or waiting as long as the fourth or fifth swing of the whirlwind, pressing triangle will perform a hammer uppercut. 
Triangle is also the best option to cancel the full whirlwind animation, so if you're out of position or you're in danger, use triangle to finish up the whirlwind and reposition. Something to keep in mind also while you're holding R2 to charge up your attack, you're also consuming stamina. It's not a big deal, but worth mentioning as this affects your overall performance. What's more fun than charge attacks? Flying charge attacks! Dropping from a ledge with a charge attack is fun and can be a quick way to launch a mount assault on your target. Sliding down a hill or running up walls will also perform an insane flying spin attack that can also result in mounting the monster. That pretty much wraps it up for the core moves, but what about combos? How do we put all this together? What's the best combos? The short answer? Anything with Big Bang. There's several ways though that you can get the most out of this combo. With fights as dynamic as they are, I often find it easiest to get into position and into the combo, starting with a level 2 charge attack. The little animation allows you to quickly reposition, and then pressing triangle, and then going into Big Bang with circle will perform a really powerful Big Bang combo. If you're already in position, you can also do this with a level 1 charge attack, which is slightly more powerful than the level 2 charge attack because Monster Hunter logic. And if the adrenaline is pumping and you forgot all of this in the heat of the battle, just press circle a bunch of times for the standard Big Bang combo and you'll still be doing really good damage in a shorter amount of time. All of these though are pretty lengthy, so use Big Bang and the variations when your target is immobile to get the most out of it. Aside from the Big Bang combos, a level 1 or level 2 R2 charge attack into a triangle and then the triple triangle uppercut combo from before is also a very powerful way to get in great damage and have the freedom to dodge if you need to. If you're in the mood for some reckless fun, the whirlwind or flying hammer attacks are also great ways to deal a lot of damage and break faces. That's gonna wrap it up for this video on the hammer in Monster Hunter World. Like any weapon in the game, there is no one way to use it, and being effective is really about adapting to the situation and learning the monster's attacks, regardless of the weapon that you're using. If you have any questions, or maybe you want to add something to the discussion yourself, then be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe because I've got more Muscle Hunter videos coming up on the channel very soon. Thanks again for watching, this is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.